What's up everybody, Michael Silva here to do some technical analysis on advanced micro devices, ticker symbol AMD. We're gonna be looking at multiple time frames. Just to give you a heads up, I actually really like this setup. If I were to really go long on pretty much most of the stocks I see, this would be ranking one of the higher ones just because I just like the setup and we'll get into that. So let's get into that. All right, welcome back. First, I want to start off with the monthly time frame, kind of give you a good idea as to where the price action currently lays um, from a greater perspective, and then we'll kind of hone in for more of a trading perspective and or swing trade or a little bit longer term trade. Now, on the monthly time frame, most like, much, much like many other stocks, you can see that we're just recently in 2020, just this big boom straight up. And we currently are not extended over the upper Bollinger Band, uh, but we do have a negative divergence in the RSI and we're a little disconnected from the 5 EMA. Typically, this gets reconnected quite frequently. So keep that in mind while we go through the rest of the video. The EMA um, is currently at just above $85, so almost $86. So reconnect there, we can see some strong support to potentially move higher. All right, let's go into the weekly time frame. This is what I really like. First off, um, I'm going to show you a couple indicators here that I don't typically show all the time, but this right here is called relative strength. We're measuring the relative strength for AMD comparatively to a broad index, the S&P 500. And you can see that the relative strength has been extremely strong. So this is a good sign for a stock that you'd be willing to get into or go long on. So I like this and notice how it kind of based out here. And now we're starting to see it uptick again previous a, a breaking above this previous little high on the ratio so this is a good sign and what we see here going on a little bit of a negative divergence on the weekly time frame rsi is not quite overbought we're extended on the upper bollinger band but we recently broke out of a prior area of resistance so that's a good sign and we did so you can see that volume uptick for the week we're starting to go higher so this could very well if the market continues moving farther and higher this could be one of the well, well-performing stocks. Now take a look at this daily chart. This is just absolutely incredible. So obviously it's a couple year time frame right here, but just take a look on the daily time frame. these horizontal areas of resistance that when they break, you see some just really strong movement to the upside. Yes, this is a log chart, so just keep that in mind, but you can see we had a lot of resistance right here, probably right around 35. I should have a grid up, but then we broke above. We got rejected, 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 rejected. And then once we broke above it, boom, we really scored to the upside again. And now what do we see taking place right here? Well, we're breaking just now above making an all-time high. So this could very well be the setup of a stronger move to the upside. Now, before we get into the 30 minute time frame to more hone in, um, to find a more precise area to enter in, um, if you are interested in going long, this is by far not a recommendation. This is just my thought process. Um, I want to talk about the semiconductors overall. Now, the semiconductors make up a big portion of the NASDAQ composite, and I talk about this in my daily market brief. So if you don't watch that, you can tune in. You can kind of get a good head start as to where things might be going. The semiconductors have been really, really overextended overall. So if we start seeing weakness in that composite, that might bleed through other stocks. Now, AMD is a very strong performer. We also have ones like NVIDIA. But just note that if we start seeing the semiconductors or the SOX or the SOXX start to head lower, it could drag these other semis down with it. Now let's um, zoom in a little bit here. 30 minute time frame. What does that mean? Each candle represents 30 minutes of data. As you can see here, a little bit of a descending triangle where we finished, tagged the top of it twice. So in an hour, 30 minutes there, 30 minutes there, boom, and headed lower, broke through the low of this candle. That could very well mean that we're going to head lower to retest this area of around 95. If we start breaking below that, we're going to have to look at around these previous resistance areas as more support. So we need confirmation that it'd be a, a true breakdown. But if it does continue to break down, we can look for areas of support to buy into if this is your type of position. All right. Now, if there's continued strength in the markets and in the semis and within AMD, if we start breaking above this line, 98 would be that next area of resistance. If we start really seeing some strong volume on that breakout, this can head a lot, lot, a lot higher like we've seen on the daily time frame. So that's all I got for you on ticker symbol AMD. Hope you guys enjoy these single stock analysis. If you do, make sure to like it, make sure to subscribe it. It's really appreciated. I'll talk to y'all later.